Hey guys, welcome back to our Miami Hurricanes Death Penalty Dynasty. This is, what, episode 6, I believe? So welcome back. Don't forget to slap the like button, subscribe if you're new, and join the Discord community. It's a link in the description below for that. We're actually going to be switching this up a little bit here, because uh, if I keep playing these games, I, I'm just going to I'm gonna end it all. I'm just, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> so, I'm going to simulate... The rest of season one, there's no way we're winning a game, and I cannot sit here and play another one of these right now. I want to get to the off season. I want to help this team get better, and season two, uh, if we actually get some talent around us, uh, we'll play those games where we actually have somewhat of a fighting chance, because I started this game today, and it was two minutes into the game, and Duke was up 28 to nothing. We literally couldn't do anything, and I'm just, I can't put myself through it anymore. So, here we are. So, we're going to watch ourselves uh, just lose all these games. 45-10 lost at Duke. It's a lot better than it would have been if I was actually playing it. And we're going to get crushed in the rest of these games as well. Uh, it's been a bit rough, so... And, you know, just losing every single game, it's like, you know, I'm just running headfirst into a wall over and over again. But I want to build up the team and get us some talent. And see if we can actually compete next season. We're going to schedule some easier uh, out-of-conference games, for sure. We're going to get, uh, probably, I think Bethune-Cookman, we'll, we'll schedule them. Maybe Florida A&M again. And then a couple smaller uh, FBS programs after that. FAU, FIU most likely. Try to get some dubs against all these Florida schools. Because right now we're just uh, we're just dying. You know, 0-7. Technically on a 19-game losing streak. If you date it back to last season where we just forfeited all 12 games. But it's, uh, it's a bit rough out here. But hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get some receivers and some DBs. Because I think if we just recruit that, you know, that'll improve this team just so much more. Just unfortunately couldn't get any receivers last offseason where we were trying to build up the program. But, um, yeah, I think, I think that's really what we're missing, skill position players. Right, we got a few offensive linemen. We got those. As we lose to Florida State and Georgia Tech. And we're going to North Carolina. We're hosting North Carolina after the Yellow Jackets. So that's going to be another tough game. Then we got, what, Virginia Tech. And Virginia was the last game, I think. Maybe. Who's the other one? I can't even remember. Either way. We're getting crushed. We're going on 12. There's just no, no way around it, honestly. Here we go, North Carolina. See how it goes. It's a home game. Combined opponent's record is uh, really good as well. So, I mean, we were doomed no matter what this season. 59 nothing. My goodness. It's like when Al Golden lost 59-0 uh, to Clemson. Got fired instantly. Of course, he lasted a couple more seasons than he should have at Miami. But, you know, just he wouldn't fire his OC, his best buddy, Whipple. Mark Whipple, who is now, what is it, the OC at Nebraska? And you can see how well that offense is performing. Got frost fired as well. All right, Virginia Tech. They are seven and two on the season. Although in these simulated games, we're doing a lot better than we were uh, in the four fifty games last year. So, got that going for us. I did make everybody a 40 overall last time, so 
Oh, there we go. That's a respectable score. 38-7 to against number 14, Virginia Tech. So we put up a little bit of a fight there. Only the one touchdown, but the defense didn't allow, you know, a million points again. That might be the lowest points we've allowed all season, um, other than Florida A&M in week one. Yeah, I'm going to keep this all in one episode. We'll do, uh, we'll simulate the rest of the season. We'll do our entire off season. And see how that goes and do all of our training. I will be doing uh, the, the drills in the off season this time around and going forward. Since we're not using any points as far as our, our school budget towards training. We'll do all the training in the in the drills in the off season. Wake Forest beats us fifty nine to three. Oof. I'm really hopeful that uh, going zero and twelve consecutive seasons doesn't get us booted from from the ACC. But if it does, that'll just you know make this even more of a challenge. And uh, might add a little bit more realism to it, to be honest. Think about it, you know, you get a death penalty for a program, you're not just going to stay in your conference after that. And we've got a bye week, and then we've got, I think it's Virginia is our final game. Like, we don't stand a chance against them either. We're putting up some points this season, getting some touchdowns here and there. No, I don't normally simulate games in this on this channel, but for my sanity, I, I think I just I have to do this for the season. <laughs> now, if we get some decent recruits, and I know that we can compete. That'll be different. So just playing 12 straight games and getting crushed in all 12 of them. 48 nothing to Virginia. Oof. All right, so 0 and 12 Miami Hurricanes here in uh, technically the first season. Head coach Optimus Klein, winless in year one, but we don't have coach contracts on, so I'm not going to be getting fired. We're in it for the long haul. All right, let's go. Keep simulating. Do it faster. This is one part about these old games that I just can't stand. It takes forever to simulate stuff. Especially a few of the a few of the tasks in the in the off season. Was it cutting players? Feels like it takes an hour sometimes. Right, we'll go through and we'll take a look at all of our games and see see what we did this season. All right. Lost by a touchdown, lost by 91, lost by 53, lost by a couple touchdowns to FIU. So I know that next season, if we actually get a little bit more recruiting done, you know, we can compete against the smaller schools, but the conference teams, uh, they're just going to crush us. Instead of, uh, except for Virginia Tech, for no reason. I mean, they still beat us by 31, but it could have been so much worse. Florida is 12 and 0, and they are number three. Oklahoma is 12 and 0 at number four. Oh my goodness! Nebraska beats Oklahoma. Florida goes 13 and 0 going into the bowl season. Virginia Tech beats Florida State. Memphis beats UTEP. Now, if we do get booted from the ACC, it's going to be really intriguing to see, you know, what conference uh, we end up getting knocked down to. 
If it would be, you know, independent or Conference USA, Sunbelt, something like that. We'll see soon enough. Oh my goodness, Brown won Return of the Year. Alright guys, we have an award-winning player <laughs> on the 0-12 Miami Hurricanes. Let's go. Did not see that coming. Texas A&M quarterback wins the Heisman. Uh, nearly 1,000 rushing yards, 41 total touchdowns for that young fella. Not a bad year. Boston College beats Utah. Florida International wins the New Orleans Bowl against Houston, Michigan. Iowa State beat Cal 42-0. Get wrecked. My goodness. Nevada beats Texas Tech. Kansas put up 52 on UL Lafayette. Florida beats Clemson. Texas crushes Boise State for their first loss. Nebraska beats Penn State. Rutgers beats Virginia Tech in the Orange Bowl. 13-0 Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Are you kidding me? Who's number one and two? USC and who? It's got to be USC, right? Ohio State. Okay. How is Ohio State a one-loss team? Oh, okay. Never mind. They already simulated the game. <laughs> that was actually a really good title. And we are on probation? What? I mean, I guess that'll add to the, the realism, I guess. Ten less scholarships. That's great. For three years. No televised games for two years. It's, nobody wants to watch our games anyways. Alright. School budget. We're on three-year probation. My goodness. I don't know what for. Seventy percent recruiting. If we don't get more than like twenty-four points again, I'm gonna be furious. Like I know we lost every game, but we need points. I'm going after skill positions this season. Majority of them, I will be. We gotta get some transfers as well. That, that'll definitely help for sure. No players leaving. All right, here we go. Recruiting, moment of truth. What do we got? Come on, remove the players. Do it. Come on. Yeah, this is one of those things that takes a while for no reason. Cannot miss on recruits. You cannot miss. See, we got a quarterback. We got three offensive linemen that we can work with. That's pretty much the team. Got to get him some receivers. A running back with some speed would be fantastic. goodness come on well now that I'm 40 years old waiting for this to complete oh there we go reviewing scouting reports we're getting somewhere now
Well, here's a uh, reminder on rules and such. Only recruiting a discipline and school budget for five years. No one sees a recruiting year one. Three star recruits or lower. First five years. One five star recruit per year after. Three four star recruits per year after that. Uh, let's see, only recruit state of Florida for first five years. Only three um, cross country recruits per year after. Now, uh, by cross country, that just means, you know, like the West Coast. Uh, no athletes or JUCO players and no redshirting. All right. Let's see how many points we got here. Let's see. Florida prospects. No athletes. We only have 15 hours of recruiting, guys. Oh, my goodness. This is terrible. Terrence Wilson. All right, we're going to try to get you because we need you. Wide receivers? I don't even care. Just, just join us, please. Please! Oh, never mind. B minus hands. Ugh. Oh, I already offered him. Damn it. B hands for him. Like, it doesn't even matter, honestly. Just, we need speed everywhere. Get all the speed we can get. Juco, I'm not getting that tight end. Wait, I didn't recruit a Juco guy, did I? Okay. Tackles. Can always use linemen. And guards interested? This guy's pretty interested, but. Dang it. There we go. Bunch of guards here. One star. We got eight points. There are eight hours left, rather. Maybe we could get him, I guess. Try to, at least. Alright, number one for him. Alright, let's go DBs and stuff real quick. All we have for corners that are interested. All right, we might be able to get him. Juco player, can't have him. Free safeties. Wow, this is the only free safeties. Kevin, Kelvin Williams. That's it. Four six, bruh. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. That is so tough. Well, I'm gonna try for Weatherford. Three star. All right, strong safeties. What do you got for me? A couple two stars here. Four three nine. Going for it. All right. Now what do we got? Got another linebacker. Four five five. All oh, you guys are slow as dirt. Four seven eight, absolutely not. Bruh. Oh, got a kicker interested. Okay. All right. Well, that's gonna be so tough. I hate that we have like no recruiting points. Like, what's the deal with that? Hopefully I just get a bunch of commits right there. Probably not gonna happen, but. Now 
if we don't get, you know, like 10 commitments, we're probably going to get a bunch of transfers. Which would help the program, you know, not in this next season, but the upcoming season after that. We do have, we do have that running back this season. So we'll have a running game, a, a little bit of one at least. So we'll have Brent Brown, we'll have the transfer running back. I can't remember where he transferred from. We have those three linemen. We had no commitments, that is so tough. All right, current targets. All right, we got 15 guys targeted right now. I don't know if we're going to get him, but that would be a huge get for us to get Roy Weatherford. Kicker. Let's see, what's the team overview looking like here? You know, just 43 sophomores. Hmm. Well... That running back is a senior, I believe, too. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. All right, we're first for most of these players. All right, this running back, 4-3-2 speed. Go location on him. Definitely need the receivers, for sure. Location. Location, location. Let's go. Alright. O-line. Got a couple guards here. Florida Atlantic is actually going to end up getting him. So we're going to... Oh, I don't want to scout him. That would have been terrible. Withdraw offer. Thank you. All right, so we can go add one more guy after that. Because I don't want to keep putting points into somebody that we're just not going to get. D-tackle. Come on, D-tackle. We need you, brother. Got no linebackers, but we desperately need these corners. Come on, Paul and Ben. Please join us. I will give you all the cookies. I think we can get Roy Weatherford. I, I really think we can. We moved up onto his board when we weren't even on there to begin with, so that's actually huge. All right, kicker. One hour of recruiting left. Let's see what we got up here at the top, just for literally anything. Anybody that could be a game changer for us. Looking for low interest for all the schools on their list. We might be able to, to sneak in there. Anybody that could be a game changer. That's a guard. Quarterback, Mike Jones. Mike Jones. Max Jones from safety. Not, no shot at him. No way. Well, that's, that's pretty much it for that. Well, I guess we can look at some linebackers. Roman 
quarter. All right, let's see. Outside linebackers. No shot at that guy. Just, I'm looking for speed, guys. I'm looking for it. Four five. I mean, that's pretty quick. All right, well, look at this guy, Joel Harper. He's got he's a two-star player, four four nine forty. Do we want to look at him? Or do we want to go after him? Four six five. I mean, that's that's pretty slow. All right, we're gonna go after McDonald here. That's what we'll do. Alright. Use all of our points again. Come on, fellas. Come on. Just give us somebody. Anybody. Anybody. We could do this. All right, two star guard, Tyson Keys. And we got a corner, Ben Young. Let's go. 439. Hopefully it's actually accurate. 40 inch vertical. That's insane. Man's out here jumping higher than me. Alright, current targets. Alright, so we got two. Oh, we lost Roy. Dang. To Rutgers? Really? That's so unfortunate. Alright, so we got 12 guys on the board now. Location. Location. Alright, everybody likes location so far. Let's go. That'll help us out a lot, too. Location, location, baby. Yeah, that helps out tremendously. All right. All right, we got one hour left. Let's go look at some other guys here. Yeah, sure. Go after a receiver, maybe? Why not? Doesn't hurt, right? Come on, recruits! I just wish we had more points. I mean, I know we're 0-12, but dang. And we didn't get booted from the conference either, so... Got that going for us, but we definitely have to win some games next season, that's for sure. I'm gonna give us we're gonna do two FCS schools to start. Some HBCUs from Florida. And then we'll do FIU, FAU. So we gotta try to string together some wins. I don't think we'll do them all back to back. Like, we'll do. Oh, here we go. We've got a safety, Brandon Garrett. Another corner. And a receiver. All right, we're getting what we need, guys. I like it. Safety with pretty good speed there. 4 3 9. Receiver with 4 4 1. He's got D minus hands, which is basically what we have right now at receiver. But if he can catch it, I mean, he's going to fly. And Nathan McClover with 44540 as well with a 40 inch vertical. We got some DBs that have hops. My goodness. Did we lose anybody else? 
Sweet lord. Alright, we got five commits. We just lost out on... We've lost out on five of our targets. I'm not really worried about this receiver. We just put him on the board. We lost the halfback. Lost the other receiver. We only have, what, six guys now on here? Dang. Alright. Need the receiver, need the corner. And the kicker wouldn't hurt either. Alright, let's see. We'll go coach prestige for the corner, maybe. Location for the tackle. And the D end. And let's see. Coach prestige for the D tackle in there. And it's one star receiver with 4 4 speed. Location. Alright. Now. What do we want to go after? We've got. We got two corner commits. Strong safety. Getting a free safety would be really nice. What do we got? Oh, we only had the one target. Well, we might as well offer him, you know? Nobody else is even looking at the poor guy. He's got A minus field awareness. That's that's pretty dang good, to be honest. Alright, what's the other guy? Well, that guy's a junior. I'm not gonna go after him. Juco corner. Yeah, sure. Go after another corner. Like, it won't hurt us to go after these guys. If nobody else is looking at them, why not, you know? My goodness. Alright, I'm gonna go after Jackson and Fleming here. Gotta do it. Nobody's looking at him. I know the two stars, but they could be pretty dang good. And they're gonna be better than what we currently have. So they're, you know, little building blocks for the program going forward. Still don't understand the recruiting points. I don't know if that's like a problem with 08 or a glitch or something or it's literally just because we haven't won a game yet I'm thinking that could be it and we're also on probation and lost 10 scholarships we just gotta win some ball games that's all that's really all it boils down to Alright, we got the kicker, Kyle Johnson. So that's pretty good. We're in our final week of recruiting now. We're just losing out on everybody. My goodness. Well, we do have six commits. Just one less than we had last season, unfortunately. We need to get all these guys. Dang it. Alright, we're getting in two hours. What's up? Going crazy here. Do tackle. Come on, corner. Alright. We gotta give him one point. Alright, that's it. I hope we can get a few of those guys, at least. Having not won a single game, it's, it really hinders your program. Which is very realistic. Because not many people want to go to the 0 and 12 team. As we're waiting, I have Roy Jones Jr. Can't be touched, playing in the headphones. What's up? Let's go. Get hyped. Came to get crunk. 
You know. One of the hardest songs of all time. All right, we got we got a corner again, so I'm all right with it. We got eight commitments, guys. That's better than last off season. Let's go. All right, let's view the signings. We didn't get any three stars. We're just building the program like Boise State did back in the day. A bunch of two stars. All right, we got let's see three, four DBs. We got one receiver, which is really unfortunate. But we got DT. Got a kicker. Got another old lineman. So now we have four scholarship offensive linemen. See where our class ranks. We were dead last last offseason. No surprise there. We'll probably be dead last yet again. Yep, dead last. 119th. That is tough. But the good news is, though, we get to do in-season recruiting now. So... That'll help us out quite a bit. All right, Brent Brown up to, let's see, position changes. He's got 72 overall, not bad. Position changes. All right, West King, 78 overall running back. I still can't remember what college he was at in year one, but he's the best player on the team, 100%. Pullback, yada, yada, yada. And there's our... <laughs> Wide receiver, Brian Griffin. That's, oh my goodness, 84 speed. I just wish you guys could catch, you know? Alright. Let's see what we got here. Tackles. Derek Hines. Guards. I'm going to have to move one of these to the tackle, I think. Let's see, we got 74 overall at left tackle. Freshman, we gotta move him to the right tackle. 62. Oh my goodness. Oops. Oh man. Alright, we're gonna move Micah Henderson to right tackle. We gotta do it. At least our tackles will be decent. We'll have one really good guard. Center's terrible. And we got a freshman left guard now. Tanner Howell, what did you do this season, buddy? You got three sacks for us, two pass deflections, not bad. Robert Bentley. He got three sacks as well. And Rodney Armstrong, I think he got one. Nope, he got a block though, I do know that. Eric Hubbard, true freshman DT. Outside linebacker. Man, I just I wish we had more speed. I really do. Middle linebacker's terrible. He'd be a 52. My goodness. All right. Well, linebacking core is awful. But hey, we got some speed at corner now. Just a bunch of freshmen out here. You can tell who the walk-ons were. All in the 70s. Right, free safety. 74 speed, strong safety. 84, let's go. I'm just happy that we got more speed out there. We desperately needed it. Johnson already better than Nichols. Let's take a gander at there. Kick power, kick accuracy. Yeah. 10 higher kick power. Solid. Spring game, we're not doing spring game. Doesn't do anything for us anyway. Alright, we won't have to cut anybody either. Let's see if we get some transfers here. Training results. No training. That's alright. 
Offensive and defensive MVP. This will be our captain, so we'll go with Ken. He's a senior. And we're going to go with Howell. Best player on the defense. I'm not sure if we can even compete with the FCS schools still, but we're going to give it our all, guys. See, we got six guys, 70 overall or higher. Progress. How do we have seniors? Like, who are the seniors on this team? Just a senior walk-on? Is that what it is? <laughs> it's got to be. I don't know these guys whatsoever. Oh yeah, definitely walk-ons for sure, 100%. All right, well, we got 84 speed at corner for the, both the starters and the nickel corner. Acceleration's decent, jumping's pretty good. So 40-inch vertical only gets you an 84 jump. What? Good God. What do you got to get for 99 jumping? Like a 50 inch vertical? Terrible. Alright, we're not to cut anybody. I am going to cut the kicker though. We just don't need him, to be honest. Set the depth chart. <laughs> Gotta do it. Did we not get transfers? Did we just skip through that? We need transfers. Please. Please. Cut, cut, cut. Let's go. See if we can get the run game going at all this coming season with 78 overall running back Wes King. 89 speed. Not a single junior on this roster. What? 42 of them next year, though. Ninety-one strength for Meadows. That's pretty dang good. 89 for Hines. 84 for Henderson. Come on, game from 2007, 15 years ago. Work faster. I wonder for the uh, being on probation, where we don't get televised games. Is that just for home games? So I think that they wouldn't punish the the other programs that we're playing against. If we're traveling to their stadium, you'd think that they would give them a televised game, right? That would make sense. I don't really know how the probation stuff works. I've never actually had a program on probation in one of these games before. I don't even know how it happened this time. All right, depth chart, we don't really need to do a whole lot with this, to be honest. My goodness. David Brown, returner of the year. Legend. How many touchdowns did he have last season? He also had a forced fumble. Okay. Well, he had three kick return touchdowns and a punt return touchdown. So, I mean, I guess. We're going to get him higher on the depth chart, I think, here. Yeah. For sure. I'm gonna put him in the slot. Let's get McClellan out here as the four. And we're gonna put West King as the fifth. 
So we got 80 speed for everybody in there. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Alright. Hopefully you guys can just catch the football, please. Mr. Brian Griffin. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? Not a whole lot going on in the linebacking core, that's for sure. Yeah, we're going to put a strong safety at corner. What's the matter with you, game? What are we doing? Wow, oh, get all the speed out there. I don't care what the overall is. I want the speed out there. No speed of free safety still, but we got 84 speed Brandon Garrett. Garrett. Don't disappoint me, Wes. Get some tutties. Where's Brown? I went right by him, didn't I? What am I doing? I'm trying to remember, was he on the left or the right on kick returns last season? I can't remember. Alright. Here we go. We didn't get any transfers? Did I just miss that? I'm furious! I'm generating the schedule. Your players, we don't do that. All right, here is the schedule. All right, Elkhorn State. No, we're gonna go Bethune Cookman. See if we can get a little Florida Atlantic there. Florida AM again. And try to get FAU. Should be able to get him some. Oh, I already got FAU. I gotta get FIU. Duh. What am I doing? They're not there. Are they not here either? Nope. That's unfortunate. Alright, what if... Get FIU here. Try to find Florida a &M, Or Florida Atlantic down here. No? Oh, there we go. Alright, cool. That works. Let's see how many away games we got. We're not ending with four away games. I don't think so. Five away games this season. That's fine. I'm not traveling to to an FCS school though. All right, that's the schedule. We're doing it. Let's see if we actually can compete with these guys. All right, in-season recruiting, gentlemen. Remember, three-star prospects. What do we got? 
quarterbacks. Whoops, don't want to target him. Sorry. Alright. Running backs. We'll need a running back for sure. That's it for receivers? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, might as well target those two guys. Tight end, that's four star, can't go after him. That's really unfortunate. Let's go after a couple tackles here. Guard. The end. Yeah, cool. Linebackers? Huh? None? Alright, cool. Awesome. There we go. Middle linebackers at least. Corner. Strong safety. Was that all the three stars? I think I went after all of them. Well, I guess I gotta target a couple quarterbacks, huh? National position rank, not available. That's tough. Well, let's see. Six, five, seven, three. Sure. Sounds good. Summer training. Let's get it. See a rushing attack. Gotta switch this off of Heisman for this. Yeah, let's go varsity for training. Remember last time we did this in uh, 11 for Kansas. Did it on Heisman the one time. And <laughs> we got just no points. Got destroyed, just bodied in the backfield almost every play. Do the wide receiver drills with our freshman that we just got. Run King. Good day block. Let's go. Oh my goodness, he's so fast. I mean, he's not really that fast, but he's so much faster than literally everyone else. Let's go. Nice block. Yeah, I'm just using his speed. He's just so much faster than everybody on the field. Run, King. Goodbye. And one more for good measure. Alright, that should get him some points. Maybe get him up to an 80 overall. Wouldn't that be nice? Plus five points. 82 overall, okay. Or, gotta go 90 agility there. Yeah, 84 break tackle. Let's do it. All right, passing a skeleton.
All right. Come on, Brent. I was thinking about using him for the the throw power one, but this one improves throw accuracy as well, so. Here we go. Hey, we got a completed pass. Let's go. Off to a great start. Aw, oh, dang it. Hey, you got it. Let's go, Brown. Okay. I like it. There's the freshman, Griffin, inside the five. All right. And touchdown, Griffin. Oh, wide open. West King, touchdown. Let's go. Here you go, Griffin. McClellan to the four. Man, that was just a bad throw. Touchdown, Lane. I should give Brown some points. Probably not five like I got for King. Oh, I did get five. Okay. Okay. Let's see, what do we want here? 87 throw power, 85 accuracy? Or 86, 86? Ooh, 87, 85. I like it. Option attack with Jones. He is a running quarterback. Try to build these young men up a little bit. Here we go. And he is pretty quick. I think he's got 80 speed, if I remember right. No moves whatsoever, but he's got straight line speed, though. There we go. Just get it out to King. He'll score almost every time, probably. Nice pitch. Touchdown. Let's go. Jones might be able to go. He gone. Oh, he might take it again. Run, Jones. Let's go. It's good to see 13 was actually catching up to him there. Gone again. Killing him with this option play. Eighty one hundred points. My goodness gracious. Get wrecked. Definitely got him five points for that one. Let's 
70 agility. Nice. Or 84 acceleration. There we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oklahoma. And we'll go with Lewis. He was the starter last year. Got to try to build up these guys that are backups. Especially at skill positions. I'm excited to do the wide receiver drills. Get some, some receivers there. Their catch rating boosted up. I gotta back out and uh, and see what their actual ratings are, so I can improve the right ones. Oh my goodness! Come on, Lewis! Lewis, come on, brother! There you go. Man, he's so slow. <laughs> Luckily, the linebacker is equally as slow. I don't know if that's lucky for us or not, but <laughs> there you go, Lewis. Well, you finished strong at least. Six touchdowns, not bad. Somehow got him three points. Okay. Uh, break tackle. Sure. And strength. All right, 62 overall now. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. All right, who do we need for speed? Mitchell. Mitchell. It's the slowest DB we've got. Desperately need the speed. Gotta get my thumb game going crazy. It's all about leverage, boys. Come on. Alright, here we go. Let me pull my sleeve up. Got this. He's so slow! His acceleration is awful. Four, eight, nine. Oh my gracious. My start is just terrible right now. Four, nine, eight. Bruh, come on. Four seven eight. Okay, solid. I dropped my phone. Everything's fine. Four seven eight. Oof. That's tough. Only so much I can do with with that. What's his speed? Seventy. Got him three points. Not seventy four. Goodness gracious. Oh, this isn't even the right Mitchell. Well, I guess this guy's gonna start, huh? Ah oh, man. Got up to 80. All right. Solid. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Passing distance. With the freshman. I don't remember redshirting anybody. How did he get a redshirt? Did I redshirt? There's no way I redshirted this guy, right, guys? Let me know in the comments. If you remember me redshirting anybody. So I'm pretty sure I didn't do it. Tap, sprint, throw. All right, cool bet. My man's got 
no strength whatsoever. I'm really trying here, guys. Heave ho, baby! Alright, we got him five points. 80 throw power up to 59. Let's go! Beautiful. All right, wide receiver, DB catching. All right, let's look at our receivers here real quick. See what we got going on on here. Catching. I know they all need it, of course. Let's see. McClellan, Brown, Green, Griffin. Those are our top four guys for speed. I think we gotta go McClellan, right? It's gonna be in the slot. I think I have him in the slot, right? Oh, we got Brown in the slot? Hmm. Alright, we're gonna go with Brown then. I think. Yeah, we'll go with Brown. All right. Come on, Brown. Let's get it. Here we go. Not a not a really good throw from uh, from Brown there to start off. There we go. I don't care about yards as long as we just catch the ball. Where are you throwing that, Brent? Come on, brother. Just catch the football. That's all that matters. Or drop it. That's cool. Come on, Brown. Catch it, brother. Goodness gracious. It's not looking so good right now, guys. Why does he throw so late? It says quick release, and it's just like 10 minutes later he threw it. There you go, Brown. Last one was like 300 points. Only got one point for him. Well, it's going to go to catching. 62 now. Man, that's tough. Rushing the quarterback. See, that's a true freshman. See, strength, agility, and acceleration. I gotta go with a linebacker, right? We gotta get some more some more speed, some more quickness out there. Let's go Hudson. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Ha hello? 
What just happened there? My goodness. That was awful. There you go, Hudson. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gonna have three linemen after this one, I think. Yep. Alright, let's get it. Let's go, Hudson. Good fight. Got him. Hopefully I got him five points. Use all the points we can get. Alright, let's see. Gonna go all acceleration here. 76. This overall doesn't go up at all. Go agility, maybe? Put on strength. Alright. Kick return. Agility, break tackle, and carry ratings. Doesn't really matter a whole lot. Just receivers on here, too. We'll go back to that. Awareness, agility, and catch ratings. This we're going to go with McClellan. Got to get the catch ratings up. Got to do it. I'm just going to run the route. That's all that matters is running the route. You know, if you actually... How is that the incorrect route? Game? Hello? What do you mean, guy? Pass interference. Why am I not getting points for the correct route? Terrible. Almost caught it. Come on, McClellan, you gotta get it, brother. There you go. Touchdown, let's go! Beautiful. Love to see it. All those points going on catching. All of them. Only got three points? Bruh. Alright, well, 68 catching now. It's, could be worse. Alright, let's see. Do I want to do... We're going to do a uh, kick return. We're Griffin. I'm not doing the punt return. Because none of those guys are returning punts.
Let's get it, Griffin. We got 10 returns. Come on, freshman. Got a little bit of a spin move there. I like it. It's good to see somebody with a little agility on the field for us. And some speed. Let's go, Griffin. Goodbye. Love to see that. 83 yards to the house. Come on, Griffin. I almost juke somebody out. Okay. Oh my goodness, we juke somebody out, guys. Milestone. And he's gonna outrun everybody. Let's go. Touchdown. I didn't juke him out that time. Doesn't help when nobody blocks at all on the outside. Juke right into a big hit. Yeah, this one could be decent. Nope. My goodness, what a tackle. Jeez. All right, one more try. See if we can get over 5,000 points. Good kick. Inside the 10. Oh, nice tackle. Dang it. Well, we didn't get 5,000 points, but pretty good performance from the true freshman. Five points. All right. Put on break tag, let's get him up to 65. I'll put one into agility. And carry break tackle. Sure. Sounds good. Alright, DB cover. We got the freshman strong safety corner. We gotta get the corners up for sure. Awareness, catch, and jump. We got chase and tackle we can do with the corners. Depending on the option we can do with the corners. Alright, we got plenty of opportunities here for the cornerbacks. Let's go with McClover here. I'm pretty sure this is the drill that I don't really like. Because the whole defense is out there. It's a pain in the ass. It really is. Let's get it. No, this is the one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, here we go. Of 
course, he caught that, so I don't get any points. What? Oh, come on. Unreal. Let's go, McClover. There we go. Beautiful. No way he caught that. Come on, game. Craziness. I'm not going to lie. I got absolutely torched right there. Goodness gracious. There we go. Come on, McClover. You can do this, buddy. Dang it. There we go. My reaction time is dwindling in my old age. Let's go. Good way to end it. Got torched a couple times there, but that is to be expected with a freshman corner, a two-star corner. <laughs> Got him five points still somehow. I like it. Jumping, catching, awareness. Awareness that would get him up to a 65. That's just going to go all on awareness. Chasing tackle. I know we should probably work on some linebackers, but, but oh man, they're just so bad. Hack it. Like, where are my middle linebackers? They're so terrible. All right, Luke, come on, brother. Let's figure it out, guy. J. Luke. I don't need to be the one to tackle him. Just somebody's got to do it. There we go. I like it. Just got to remember that King is extremely fast compared to everybody else. So, got to be careful. Are you going to tackle him or what? My goodness. Get him. No. Good tackle, safety. Uh-oh. Oof. Well, I missed. That's tough. Good job, Luke. Let's go. Okay. I basically just fell over, but it works. Let's go. 850 points. Great job by the sophomore linebacker. Got him five points. Let's go. Acceleration up to 80 or tackle to 84. Well, tackling we definitely need, but he needs to be a little quicker too. And 56 overall. That's so tough. I right, defend the option. All these young corners. Let's go. Let's go with Fleming. We go with Fleming. Should we? 
speed, awareness, and tackle. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Fleming. Let's get it. Come on, Fleming. There we go. Nice. All right, guys. I'll just make all the tackles, I guess. Ah, oh, dang it. That was a good fake. Thought for sure the fullback had it. Got him. Oh, nice tackle. I just outran him somehow. I'm not used to having somebody with speed on defense. Let's go. Really good performance by the freshman corner, Fleming. I got him five points. Imagine 88 speed. Yeah, I'll give him 86 speed. Or, let's, ooh, the tackle will get him up to 62 overall. Let's go. I like it. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Random senior outside linebacker. For no reason. All right, Hackett is Hackett's a starter, right? Who we got? Let's take a little peek, a little gander. All right, Hackett, Hudson are the starters. So we got to go with with Hackett then. Got to do it. Come on, heck it. This training will go a long way for the next season or two for all these young fellas. Get him. Good tackle. Man. Yeah, he's just good. There's really not a whole lot I can do against that. There we go. That's a good stop. Let's go. Beautiful. And I just got caught on my own guy. That's tough. See, those are the best when I just don't have to do anything. Stopped him just short. Let's go, teammate. Thanks for the help, buddy. That should be five points for sure. Only got four out of that? No way. That's wild. Right, we'll give him... We'll put it on tackle, I think. Right? Ah, we'll get a one on awareness. Alright. 68 overall now. Not bad. 
passing skeleton. Now this is the one where I have to try to defend, and he can throw it to literally any receiver that he wants to. So, I just don't know who I should use, but this will add to acceleration, catch, and jump if we get any kind of points for the player. So, I'm gonna go with... Should I go with Garrett or Young here? They're both gonna be starters. I'm gonna go with Young. Build up these corners so we can try to compete with these ACC wide receivers that are all pretty dang quick. The highlight stick. It would be nice to actually have a highlight stick with the running back that we have now. Alright, here we go. My goodness. This drill is just so difficult. There we go. Yeah, everybody has to help me out. I can't just do it by myself. See, I got the fullback here on this play. Like, how am I supposed to do anything against that? That's not even my guy to cover. It's so dumb. Can't get there. Yeah, I'm not going to get any points for him. This drill is so dumb. I don't get any points for a tackle or nothing. You just have to defend literally everybody on the field with one guy. I made a play. Got us back to zero points. Solid. Like that. Like, I can't even defend him because he's behind the line of scrimmage. Like, how is that a fair play? I left my feet, and I saw defeat. Ridiculous. I'm not even going to be able to see this guy to defend him. Pass dropped. Alright, well, negative points. Solid drill. Thank you, EA Sports. EA Tiburon. And the NCAA for allowing that drill to exist in this game. Just beautiful. What a waste of time. Alright, what else we got? I think that's it. I'm not doing the punt return, so. I think that's all. Agility, break, tackle, carry. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Alright, I'll do it with church. I don't want to leave points out there and not be able to get any. All right, come on, let's go. Black stock ready to boot it. I mean, what is that? Catch the damn ball. What the heck? That's ridiculous, man. How do we start a drill off like that, guys? Blackstock out here just practicing his coffin corner. There you go, church. There you go, church. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Put down. Nice little 83 yard punt return touchdown. Love to see it. Oh my goodness, Blackstock. You've been hitting the gym, brother?
Could be a good one, maybe. Oh, nice tackle. No blocking. Awesome. My goodness. Two blockers, one defender, and we just <laughs> we just can't block him. I can't make him miss. Same thing's gonna happen. I gotta try to spin him out or something. Nope. Man. Like what are my blockers doing over here? Besides just holding hands. Yep. Don't have enough moves for him. Alright, one more try. We got one punt return touchdown in this drill. And that'll be it. Alright, cool. 2,600 points. See how many attribute points that'll give us for Mr. Church. See what we can add on to here. We got five points. We got break tackle, carry, and agility. Agility up there. Break tackle. Alright, 62 overall, Jared Church. Sounds good. Alright. Summer training is completed. And we didn't get any transfers, which is very, very sad for me. Alright, let's do our in-season recruiting. Alright, we got a bunch of guys interested, so let's just add points to them here. And go back through and see what we got to do. Alright, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players with interest. I will add up to ten. We need to get all these guys. 100%. If we get these guys and then we get another handful of guys in recruiting in the offseason, it'll be the best class that we have. Especially if we get this running back from Plant City. I'll add two. Two more to this receiver. Chris Porter from Coconut Creek. Andrew Capers from Boca Raton. 4640. Not the greatest, but that's okay. Another halfback here. Derek Payne from Winter Park, Florida. 44940. Quarterback. He's a pocket passer. He's been sacked seven times. That's tough. <laughs> uh, wide receiver. Let's see, he's got B plus hands. Four, five, forty. We need that for sure. Left tackle. He's a big fella. Six, six, two, uh, three, twenty. And a six, four, two, eighty tackle as well. All right, we got four points. Might be able to add them into somebody else here. I don't want to get spread too thin either and not be able to get any of these guys. That would be super frustrating. Alright, four points. Let's see, we need a receiver. We'll add one to him. We need running backs and DBs. Alright, there we go. That's going to be our in season recruiting right there. Take a look at our roster real quick. One eighty plus overall player, and we got five seventy overall or higher players. All offensive and defensive linemen, and a quarterback, and our running back, of course, with the eighty-two overall. And hold on, let's see. Program standards. 
our sanctions, uh, 10 less scholarships uh, for three years, and no TV games for two years. We have 68 discipline points, so I don't know how the team interest got that high. It had to have... I turned off... Oh, no, I turned off discipline assistance. That's why, when I simulated... That's my bad, guys. My bad. All right. Well, you'd think that the things would have still shown up, though, right? That's frustrating. All right, we're on 12. Better tailor our game plan if we expect to win this season opener against Bethune Cookman. And that will be the next video, guys. That's going to be it for this one. So stay tuned for Bethune Cookman Season 2, Week 1, or Season 2, Game 1, rather, against the Wildcats. And I'll see y'all with that one within the week. Until then, take it easy, guys.